Want to attend the legendary Thrive Time Show Business Workshop for free? Subscribe on iTunes, leave an objective review, and send us confirmation at info at thrivetimeshow.com to claim your tickets. Want to live in a van down by the river? Come by and see us at our Riverwalk offices and we'll be able to make your dreams come true. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to the podcast download. If you have not yet subscribed to the podcast because you're hearing this on the radio, I would highly recommend that you do it. That way you'll never miss out on a, on a tool, a tip, a technique, an updated strategy. Uh, this is what I do. I mean, Chef, I don't think the listeners realize this, but you saw the book that has now been fully tabbed. Fully tabbed. I mean, this. I, I don't know that we have a lot of listeners out there that would read as many books as I do. And so the listeners, you get to benefit from this because we actually run real businesses, right. Dr. Zellner and I. So they're kind of like our laboratory. Yeah. So we get to learn the the theories, right? The moves. And then implement them on our own businesses. Right. And we don't teach them to you until they're proven moves. Yeah, this is how it works. We don't teach you theories. We teach you the proven moves that you can use. So you don't have to read all those books, baby. Now, you could be out golf and you could do whatever. So this next move that we're going to teach you, Chuck, what is the next move that we're going to teach our Listen. Okay, so if you're out there, you got a business, you have to determine who the ideal and likely buyers actually are. So, so you know, what argue, is your target? Let market? me argue with you on behalf of not our listeners, not, not you, the listener, you but somebody just, else. You do it. My business, we, we basically focus on everybody. Well, that's great. Now, probably do have an awesome product or service that a lot of people might benefit from, but when you're focusing on everybody, you're throwing out there a really, really wide net, and when resources are finite, when you don't have unlimited money, you want to be a little more targeted with those. But my idea is so awesome. I'm so passionate about it, and I went to this uh, One Million Cups meeting, and I went there, and I went over to this like really neat entrepreneur incubator, and they just told me, you just got to be like all out and believe in it, and it just... I just, my product is more all-inclusive. It's for everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. And I fully agree with what you're saying. I bet your product is great, but you still need to start off targeting these uh, ideal and likely buyers so you can really get some uh, rush to revenue. Man, I'll tell you what, my app, when I when it hits the market, it's going to be like a, like, a, like a tornado with a tsunami mixed with a little, like, a, like, have you ever got like a, like bacon where you wrap it around that chicken? And you and you, you you serve yourself some of that, and you just it's just like a oh it's gonna that's that good. Chip. It's a bacon wrap. Shark I mean, not, not the tornadoes are good. I'm just saying. <laughs> but if I did have a so but there's people out there that ha- they want to fight back about that. Not you, the listener. I get right. It. Right. So now we're gonna get into the specifics of what how you define that. Well, and in, in in their defense, right. When you're excited about your product, you do you do have something that you believe in. Yeah, you want to get that out in front of everybody. It feels natural to everybody. do that, but it's not the way to do it. It's not the move. Okay, so here we go. A notable quotable from Chet Holmes, the best-selling author of The Ultimate Sales Machine and the former partner of Charlie Munger. Uh, if you look up Charlie Munger, he's the guy worth over $3 billion. Whoa. He's the secret partner of Warren Buffett that no one ever talks about. And so Chet Holmes and, and uh, Charlie Munger work together. This is what Chet Holmes says. He says, Best buyers buy more, buy faster, and buy more often than other buyers. They are your ideal clients. Have a special effort dedicated to just these clients. Yes. Uh, another example. Unless, this is a notable quote, I say this a lot, so I put it on the show notes for you, but unless you own a business like Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates Optometry, you should not focus on marketing to everybody because in most cases, it's too expensive to market to an audience of people that are not ever going to buy what you're selling. You know, so his optometry clinic it really does apply to everybody because almost everybody needs vision care at some point. Right. But even under that broad of a of a niche, he focuses extremely on just women, on soccer moms. He markets just the soccer moms because that's who makes the families buying decisions. Another example, Elephant in the Room men's grooming lounge. We only focus on marketing to Men, and it's the men, we only focus on marketing to men who are married. Chubb, will you put this on the show notes? We only focus on marketing to men who are married to women who wear yoga pants and who buy $7 smoothies at Whole Foods. So our niche is we we focus on marketing to men who are married to women who wear yoga pants while buying $7 smoothies at Whole Foods. Because there's a certain make and model to that man, and there's a certain make and model to that woman. And I'm telling you what, the women who are married to men who go to Elephant in the Room are typically the women who wear yoga pants and go to Whole Foods. It's the kind of guy that would marry a woman who wears Lululemon pants at Whole Foods and who buys $7 smoothies and organic whatever. That is the kind of man who cares a little bit more about his haircut. And the experience, probably. 
willing right. to willing to pay for it, right? Right. That's typically that's a well. That's kind of offensive. What if I what if my wife doesn't wear yoga pants? Fine. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just giving you an example for our. We're business. still going to take your money. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so oxyfresh.com is a company that I'm a part of. We we uh, sell franchises. Jonathan Barnett is the the founder owner of that business. Oxyfresh only markets basically to women who are making the overwhelming majority of domestic home purchases. So he runs advertisements skewed towards uh, reaching out to women who want to keep their carpet clean because guests are visiting. The auto auction only markets to used car dealerships. The Thrive Time Show, we only market to business owners and aspiring business owners. If you don't ever want to run a business someday, you probably won't like our show too much because we only focus on people that want to run a successful business in the future or currently. Right. Fox News only markets to conservatives. What? I thought they kept it fair and balanced. Mm. Uh, no. Fox News, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, uh, no. but uh, they actually were started... Their founder wanted to offer the antithesis of CNN. He wanted to offer an alternative to CNN. So CNN.com only markets to liberals. Oh, I thought they were fair and balanced. Get out of here. You know that CNN occasionally will put a token conservative on there just to mix it up. And you know that Fox occasionally puts a token liberal on there to mix it up. But they know who they are what? focused on. So now, Chuck, we get into the action items. All right. You've got to define your demographics on a spreadsheet. So get, walk us through... The actionable items we need to take care of. Okay, so you got to think about it. Who is going, like you said earlier, you know, who's making those buying decisions? Who's actually the person that is the, the decision maker? Or is it a man or a woman? Man, woman, or both, okay? Next, you Or want, is it a unisex transvestite? Yeah. Well, I mean, just saying. It's man. ambiguous. Are you going <laughs> to put a, a unisex bathroom in there? Or are you going to, I mean, Chuck, these are big, these are the kind. And comments. if that's your ideal and like the buyer, you probably want to know that. I don't want to move on. I want to dwell on things that don't matter, Chip. Well, we're not going to do that. Okay. Okay. So next is the location. What zip codes are they in? You got to know where they are at. Okay. My business is going to be viral. It's they viral, man. They don't need zip codes. My, my people are beyond that. But Your matter. business is a virus? I don't know, Chip. I'll tell you what. You, you, you're attacking me on this live radio show. I'll, I'll just go back to you. And <laughs> All I'll right. Think of something to witty to say. All right. So then next is the income level. What, what niche are you marketing to as far as income level? If you're Walmart, you're on a low price, right? That's your whole market strategy is low price. Who are you to accost me for going to Walmart? You can buy some good high quality stuff there and then... Uh, you know, once I met a lady there, she had a nice perm, and I was in there. And well, it wasn't it costing you? We were just talking about the cost. You know, I use, oh. I use, the, I use the people of Walmart as a dating site. That's a good move. Well, I'm just telling you. It's a good move. All right, back good move. to you, fine. Next is the age of your ideal and likely buyer. Are we marketing to teenagers? Are we marketing to middle-aged people? What's going on? You know, who who are the, what's the typical age of your ideal right. and likely buyer? All right, all right, all right. Okay, and then next is what are their hobbies? What are they into? What do they got going on? Are they into whittling well, ducks I love, I love out of go, wood? I love going out to NASCAR, and I like to yell out advice to all the right drivers. I say, well, you want to turn left, buddy? You want to turn left? You want to turn left? Keep it going left. So uh, if you right there, sir, were somebody's ideal and likely buyer, maybe they should market at NASCAR events, mm. right? Does that mm. make sense? Well, I'll tell you. Okay, and then there, another on the same uh, leg there is interest. What are their interests? I'm interested in you right now. Hey, me too. That's, right a, that's, a pick up, that's a pickup line. Right I, back use at the, you, man. I use that. At the, <laughs> that's I, a, I just tested on you. I use it on, on women exclusively at the bowling alley. It's a no-brainer offer. All right. What's the next one, Chuck? <laughs> what's, what's the next one? Next one. So the interests. And then, uh, Clay, what are some other ones that, that in, in your mind? What are some other ones that you need well, to Well, I think you just got to be specific, Chuck. You got to know who you're marketing to. And if you're committed in, uh, to NASCAR like I am, I'll see you at, the, at that uh, flea market next Tuesday.